Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another lecture on tool and die design. We are continuing with module two, that is design of cutting tools. And today we will discuss cutting conditions, especially for turning, drilling, and milling operations. So the learning objectives for this lecture are for you to understand the role of the following parameters in machining and they are cutting speed, feed, and depth of cut. You should be able to define cutting speed, feed, feed rate, and depth of cut for turning, drilling, and milling operations. We have a common formula to calculate cutting speed for turning, drilling, and milling, so you should be able to use that formula. You should be able to calculate machining time for these three operations, turning, drilling, and milling. And finally, you should be able to calculate material removal rate for these three operations. So the first step in establishing the cutting conditions is to select the depth of cut. The depth of cut has the least effect upon the two life, so the heaviest possible depth of cut should always be used. Generally speaking, the depth of cut is high for roughing operations, and we reduce the depth of cut for finishing operations. The second step is to select the feed. That is generally feed per revolution or some distance per revolution for turning, drilling, and reaming, or it is feed per tooth for milling. The available power must be sufficient to make the required depth of cut at the selected feed. Uh, the maximum feed possible that will produce an acceptable surface finish should be selected. So there are recommended values uh, for feed and cutting speed that we will refer to in, in the following slides. So it is uh, better to refer to those tables of uh, recommended feed and speed to, to get the desired finish uh, in a machining operation. The third step is to select the cutting speed. So we will discuss actually cutting speed in more detail. Most machining operations are conducted on machine tools having a rotating spindle. So you are aware of an engine lathe or a milling machine or a drilling machine. So you know that uh, there is a rotating spindle. So cutting speed generally uh, links to uh, the rotation of the spindle. And cutting speeds are given in feet per minute or meters per minute. So these speeds must be converted to spindle speeds in revolution per minute to operate the machine. So what we can set on a machine is the spindle RPM. So the recommended cutting speed in feet per minute or meters per minute is converted into spindle RPM. So that is something that we can adjust or we can set on a machine tool. So conversion is accomplished by use of the following formula. So the formula is N is equal to 12V over pi D for US units and it is uh, 1000 into V divided by pi D. Now here N is the spindle speed in revolutions per minute and V is the cutting speed in feet per minute. Uh, for, for US units and meters per minute for the metric units. Now, this is important to keep in mind that in turning, this D is the diameter of the workpiece or the blank. In milling, drilling, and reaming, and other operations that use a rotational cutting tool, where the tool rotates, there the D is the cutter diameter. So this is very important to be kept in mind. And basically, this formula is cutting speed is equal to pi d n. Uh, but generally, for the US units, the diameter of the workpiece is uh, mentioned in inches. So we divide by 12 to, to convert it into, into feet, because generally, it is more appropriate to mention the cutting speed in feet per minute. And same is true for the metric units. So formula is the same, but the diameter of the, of the workpiece or the cutter uh, is generally in millimeters. So we divide by 1000 so that we have the uh, 
uh, cutting speed in meters per minute. So this is the basic formula that is very useful uh, that using this equation, we can actually convert this recommended cutting speed into the spindle RPM that we can set on a machine tool. So units may, may be different. Uh, they could be uh, feet per minute or um, meter per minute, but uh, the, the equation is the same. I mean, you have to multiply either by 12 or 1000, uh, but conceptually this is equal to, V is equal to pi dn. So as I mentioned on the previous slide, so we can rearrange the formula. This is actually uh, much easier to uh, understand and interpret. So V is equal to pi dn. So cutting speed is directly proportional to the diameter of the workpiece in the case of turning or the diameter of the cutter in the case of milling or drilling. So for the same RPM, we will be achieving higher cutting speed if the diameter increases. So that is important to understand from this equation. So I repeat that for the same RPM, the cutting speed will be higher if the diameter of the workpiece or the diameter of the cutter increases. And once again, we divide by 12 here in order to convert uh, inches into feet and here by 1000 to convert millimeters into meters. So we can find some uh, tables like this for the recommended feed and cutting speed uh, for a certain cutting tool workpiece combination. So this table is uh, for cutting speed and feeds for turning plain carbon and alloy steel. So here we, we are having a different workpiece materials, and then we are having different cutting tool materials for example, this is the column for high speed steel. So if you are turning, for example, uh, one, two, one, two plain carbon steel, and its hardness is say uh, 100 and 150 on a Brinnell scale, then uh, the recommended cutting speed in feet per minute is 150. Or for example, if you are uh, uh, turning some other materials, say 1010, and its hardness is uh, say 150, somewhere between 125 and 175, then recommended uh, cutting speed is 110 feet per minute. And same is for uh, other cutting tool materials. Uh, for the cutting tool materials other than HSS, like uncoated carbide, coated carbide, and ceramic, you are having actually uh, two recommended values. For example, for feed, we are having optimum and average values of the feed and same is true for speed. So actually the optimum values are the ones that give the maximum tool life. And if you move beyond these optimum values, then uh, the tool life may decrease. Uh, just another point to be kept in mind here is that this feed is in thousands of inch per revolution. So this is actually 17 over 1000. So that, that is 0 0.017 inches per revolution. But the cutting speed can be read directly. So that is feet per minute. So for example, this is 805 uh, feet per minute or 1075 uh, feet per minute. But this uh, feed is in thousands of an inch per revolution. So once again, this eight here is actually eight or 1000, so 0 0.008 inches per revolution. So you can find similar tables for other workpiece materials. So this is the table for our tool steels, uh, turning operation to be performed on tool steel. So you could see recommended uh, speed values for HSS cutting tool, for uncoated carbides, coated carbides, ceramics, ceramics, and so on. I have taken these tables from a machinery's handbook, 38th edition. So similar table for uh, cutting speed and speed for milling plain carbon and alloy steel. So here you are having different workpiece materials and then there are different uh, 
cutter materials and you can find the optimum and average values both for feed and speed. There is a simple example. A lathe is to take one cut on the diameter of a 1010 plain carbon steel shaft having a brinnel hardness of 200 and it is three inch in diameter. Calculate the RPM if a high speed steel uh, tool is used. So for uh, 1010 uh, plain carbon steel and having a hardness of around 200. So recommended cutting speed in feet per minute is 90. So we will use the same formula and is equal to 12 V over pi D. So 12 into 90 divided by pi into three. So this 90 is the recommended uh, speed. This three is the diameter of the, of the blank in this case. So recommended RPM is 114.6 revolutions per minute. And of course, if we do not have this exact setting on the, on the machine, then we can select the closest value, maybe 110 or 120 revolutions per minute. Now, another important point that I have already mentioned that if the machine used is a drill press and the operation performed is drilling, the same formula is used, but D will be the diameter of the drill bit. So instead of the workpiece dial, in the case of drilling, D will be the diameter of the twist uh, bit. And uh, in the case of uh, uh, reaming, for example, it will be the diameter of the reamer. So uh, we will use this formula for the cutting speed in, in the following slides uh, to calculate the machining time for, uh, for uh, uh, turning, for drilling, and for milling. Thank you very much.